Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an important question for developers using the serverless framework. Our viewer is curious about the best way to separate development and production environments. Specifically, they want to know how to deploy their backend service to different regions for dev and prod profiles. Can we achieve this with the serverless framework? Let's find out. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To separate development and production environments in the serverless framework, we can utilize different configuration files for each environment. First, create two configuration files, one for development named serverlessdev.yml and another for production named serverlessprod.yml. In each YAML file, specify the region and any other environment-specific settings. For example, you might want to deploy your dev profile in US East 1 and your prod profile in EU West 1. Now to deploy your service, use the command line with the appropriate profile. For development, run serverless deploy profile dev, and for production, run serverless deploy dash profile prod. This setup allows you to easily manage different environments, ensuring that your development and production deployments are isolated and configured correctly. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Five years ago, there wasn't much support for multi-environment deployment with the serverless framework. But now, there are several effective methods to separate development and production environments. First, you can use separate YAML files like serverless.dev.yml and serverless.prod.yml. Deploy using specific config files for each environment. Second, you can use stages within a single serverless.yml file. Deploy with a stage variable like serverless deploy this as dev and reference it in your YAML. Third, if stages aren't enough, you can pass parameters using NAS param. This allows you to set key value pairs directly in your YAML. Methods two and three are preferred as they allow you to maintain a single serverless YML file. Method one is useful for multiple API gateways. Using separate YAML files can lead to poor DevOps practices. Instead, utilize version control branching for better management. I hope this helps you understand how to effectively separate your serverless environments. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your question, and hopefully you found that solution you're looking for. Guys, if you did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help, I'll see ya. Have a good one.